Welcome back. It appears that beer giant Anheuser-Busch is going back to basics. This comes after the fierce public backlash over Bud Light's marketing partnership with transgender activist and influencer Dylan Mulvaney. New industry reports find that the beer distributors are struggling to sell cases of Bud Light. Who would have thought that would happen as people turn to other brands after the controversy? Now Budweiser is hoping to win back some angry customers with a patriotic new ad featuring the brand's iconic Clydesdale horses. Uh, Joey, will the Clydesdale horses save the day? <laughs> I don't think so. You know, it's all the Republicans saying, oh, you know, they're actually kind of conservative, so lay off of them. That is the, that is the definition of being bought and paid for. I can give you money to leave me alone while I do and say something else. And I don't think all of them have thought it through, but I hope they start to think it through. That sometimes the donor money isn't worth selling your soul for. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not saying that supporting Bud Light is selling your soul, but this isn't about Budweiser, Anheuser-Busch, or Bud Light. This is a class of Americans, the majority of Americans, who have said enough. You are not going to mandate a manipulation of reality. You're not going to let me look at this man and say he is a girl because he chose to be one. We're not going to make me sit here and accept this and shove this down my face through ads or promotions or the vindictive nature of social justice. These, these aren't just the rednecks who drink Bud Light. Sure, that's a huge demographic that Bud Light really should have thought about. These are business owners, bar owners, restaurant owners, yep. entertainers. These are people who buy groceries for their household, who are making a conscious decision because this is the only way in today's world that you can push back on this. My sister-in-law is a principal at a school in a very southern and red state. And she doesn't know how to address this issue. She's just praying that it doesn't come up in a big negative way at her school. Because I asked her, is it the governor? Is it legislation? Like, what prevents you from looking at this and applying common sense? She said the biggest thing are the groups that will come after you and make your life a living hell if you push back on this. Yeah, Kennedy, we've seen Let's the numbers spend. year over year. So this is last week's sales. Budweiser down 10.7%. Coors Light up 5.5%, Miller Light up 20%. Mm. Where's PBR on that list, Kaylee? That's what I want to know. It's a real beer. Um, yeah, my brother went to Costco this week and took a picture of all the untouched Bud Light cases. And Costco was like, did you bring it? Did I bring the picture or yeah. my brother? No. <laughs> Either one. <laughs> we'll take a both. I have it on my phone. I'll show you. I'll show you during the break. But okay. he was like, yeah, no, one, no one's touching the Bud Light. And I have celiac, so I can't drink Bud Light. So I like High Noon, which I think is lovely. Um, and, you know, it's like <laughs> the, the young people, they like the White Claws. They like experimenting yeah. basically with carbonated Kool-Aid that has some alcohol in it. So the, the market is moving in a different direction. And I think there's an internal marketing battle at Anheuser-Busch because like the smart people are like, yeah, let's just keep selling to the people who always buy our stuff. Right. And the dumb hoity-toity, highfalutin, fancy people are like, it's too fratty. It's like, go work at another company. How right, and the <laughs> statement put out afterwards in the aftermath was we intended that in part, we intended never to be a part of a discussion that divides people. What did you think was going to happen <laughs> when you put a trans activist on your beer? Right, that lackluster statement was simply laughable. Um, our carbonated Kool-Aid with alcohol in it in college, we called Red Death for the record. <laughs> totally delicious. Um, I love what you said about the, that, the Americans. Those are the forgotten Americans, frankly, and that was really revealed. Um, so in the aftermath of this, uh, Cowboy State Daily, the a news periodical in Wyoming, went out and surveyed a bunch of bars, and they noticed that there maybe wasn't too much of a difference in the larger bars, but then they went to the small towns, and they found that in the small towns, the vast majority had in the dip of Bud Light sales, it went from barely discernible to very severe. Mm. And that's exactly to your point, people that feel that a certain narrative or a certain stance was shoved down their throat without any type of choice over it. And the irony mm. to me is that while Anheuser-Busch has now fallen back on that frankly beautiful and patriotic ad of the Clydesdales roaming from mm. New York to the West Coast and people putting their hands over their heart, a, where was that to begin with? And B, the irony of yeah. all of the Clydesdale mm. appearances having to be canceled the actual Clyde sale appearances Aww. having to be canceled in Aww. this wake while they run this ad. And for the record, uh, Corona and Michelob Ultra are also Anheuser-Busch, which I think a lot of people don't Good realize. to remember. Harris. Yeah, there's just a lot, uh, a lot to this. First of all, 10.7% loss in revenue for any company would hurt. Mm -hmm. And generally speaking, it could take you years to get that back. 
So, because we're talking about so much money. They make so much money, so that, that's a huge amount of money. So what do they do in the short term by canceling other things? I mean, I, I think that this is, you talked about Pandora's box with respect to something else earlier. This caught my eye over the weekend, the New York Post reporting that Donald Trump Jr. was calling for the end to the Bud Light boycott. Um, you, you had some business voices chiming in on this. I think that people from 37,000 feet can see that when you start boycotting and the answer back is to hurt Bud Light, um, you take away maybe Bud Light's ability to bring everything into the fold. Like, why cancel the horses? Bring everything into the fold. My question is, who is Bud Light? Right? Who are they really? Are they the Clydesdales or are they Mulvaney? And I think that only matters because they're, they're making people choose now. Yeah. I, I, I don't know who they are as a company, and, and I think they're going to have to pick a lane. But as Kennedy pointed out, maybe they've done some previous research and figured they were getting pushed out of that lane anyway. Mm. Mm. Well, when you have a double-digit drop in sales, uh, you listen. So we'll see. That, that Clydesdale ad suggests they're listening.